Round 2 and south to Putrajaya, Malaysia. This beautiful, created city, the perfect stage for the eyes of the world. The race, a year in the making. Time for Act 2 as the theatre of Formula E plays again. And the story takes another dramatic turn after an epic Chinese opening. It's the second round of the FIA Formula E Championship here in Putrajaya, Malaysia. We took off some two months ago in Beijing, but now it's the turn of Malaysia. The city of Putrajaya, some 30 kilometers south of Kuala Lumpur. My name is Jack Nichols. We've got Nicky Shields down in the pits and Dario Franchitti alongside me in the commentary box. And here is a look at this Putrajaya circuit. Two long straights and then tight and twisty back sections. And it's certainly one that's been entertaining the drivers throughout the weekend. So we're getting ready for the lights here in Putrajaya. It's Oriol Serbia on the right-hand side in the Dragon Car on pole position. It's Sam Bird alongside him on the front row of the grid. Daniel Apt and Jarno Trulli are on row two with Karun Chandok and Nelson Piquet Jr. on row three. The cars are all in position and now we just wait for the red lights. Here they come. 31 laps of racing coming up. The five red lights are on and we go green in Malaysia and it's a good start from Serbia. It's a good start from Chandok. It's a bad start from Daniel Apt. The Apt car sliding backwards through the field. Everyone's avoided him. Here's Sam Bird going for the lead of the race. Almost a touch between them, but Servia holds on. Trulli's up into third place then. Fourth is Nelson Piquet Jr. Fifth is Nick Heidfeld. A few cars cutting across the chicane. But what a terrible start that is for Daniel App. Looked like he's got going again now, but all the way from third on the grid, right to the back of the pack. Side-by-side -side action here as Stefan Sarazan attacks up the inside of Antonio Felix da Costa, and he goes through. Everyone else filtering through down at turn three. Frank Montani going on the attack, as is Nico Prost there trying to get past da Costa. That looks like it's going to be a tight one, but it is a good start from Oriol Serbia as he holds the lead of the race. Here comes Montani, that's contact, surely. Yes, oh, it yeah. is. Multiple contact there. They, they were being so respectful of the managed to what, turn five there before there was some contact. Everybody was playing nicely, but yeah. It wasn't going to last, was it? Doesn't look like there's too much damage on the front of Montani's car as they now drop down through the right-hander of turn seven, then into the double lefts at turn eight and nine. There's Nelson Piquet Jr., but it's Oriol Servia leading the way, and that's a spin for Catherine Legg. It looks like she's had uh, contact, certainly, with something, perhaps with someone. We'll have to wait and see. Front wing's gone, yeah. And she knows that she's retiring that car immediately, and that, if facing the wrong way, is Matty Brabham down at the hairpin. Hopefully everyone's going to avoid him as well. Yellow flags are out down there. And everyone does just about squeeze through. And hopefully Brabham can get going again. Yeah, but like he's stuck there. Across the line they come at the end of lap one. Serbia leads, Sam Bird second, Jano Trulli in third. And in fourth place is uh, going to be Karun Chandok. Safety car has been deployed. Meanwhile, Catherine Legg has got going again. But the safety car is out, presumably. There's some debris on the circuit. And let's see if we can see what happened. Now, here is the car and it's oh she's gone to get past Chiruti and lost the back end as they come down into seven and unfortunately that wasn't really on no. unfortunately just locked the rears that's that's the problem at the start of the race with the because the regen is, is it's not sure exactly how much you're going to get so you've got to kind of play it by ear and adjust the brake balance and obviously just caught Catherine out a little bit there and uh, there's the result and Michaela Chiruti the innocent party and all of that unfortunately and this is what happened to Matthew Brabham. He goes down the inside of Bruno Senna. Whoa, and he c hits, I think, Nick Heidfeld as well, yeah. going into the hairpin. And again, that looked like a, a braking issue. It looked like he didn't press it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still going at least, Matthew Brabham. But the uh, Qualcomm safety car has been deployed here in Putrajaya. We go green once again in Malaysia as they come out onto the start finish straight. We're on board with Sam Bird right up behind the race leader Oriol Servia as they come down towards turn one. Let's Servia see knows if he it. Makes the move to the inside. Servia no. goes defensive and does he get the car stopped? Yes, he does. But Bird might have a good run here down towards turn three. Yes, yeah, Sam Bird, much better exit. He took a lot more speed in because he could take the wider line in. Surely he won't be able to go around the outside of turn three though. Servia will just park the car on the apex. And oh, has he gone in too deep there? Bird gets the cutback. Great move from Beautiful Bird, and he's got cutback. the inside line, and he's into the lead of the race. Brilliant move from Sam Bird. But look at the cars bouncing here. Absolutely, it's a very bumpy part of the track. Truly looked like he's getting really close to Serbia. In fact, might have just gone down the inside there of him. I think you're right. Yeah, breaking for the last corner, very, very tough. 
So out they come onto the start, finish straight. And have we had the change for second position? Uh, yes, we have. Jano wow. Trulli has got past. So good move from Trulli. That must have been going into the final corner. Piquet's all sorts of crossed up. Just about gets <laughs> well his stop. <stopped. laughs> and here's the look from Chandok. He goes past Oriol Serbia coming down into the chicane and now Nelson Piquet Jr. is going to try and go through as well as they come down towards turn number three. Serbia will have the inside line though but we've seen that before. Let's see if he manages the cutback. No, not quite as good there. But Heidfeld is pushing hard and Heidfeld might be able to take advantage of that past Nelson Piquet Jr. Not quite close enough. Montani chasing in as well. This is brilliant racing isn't it? That absolutely <laughs> knows the tail. One tiny mistake there and you're losing two places. It's, oh, Frank in the inside oh. again. He did the same earlier, didn't oh, he? Oh, and they've made contact this time and Heidfeld's out. Surely that has broken Heidfeld's steering. Frank uh, just it marked it. <laughs> And uh, that could be the end of the race for Nick Heidfeld. Certainly looks like it. Daniel Apt has come into the pits, actually. So Daniel Apt into the pits. Maybe that's a tactical move uh, behind the safety car. A bit early, isn't it? Yeah. A bit early for that. In comes Daniel Apt then. And Wait, he's swapping cars. He has uh, swapped cars over. And so maybe it was a tactical decision. Or maybe he's still got problems with that first car. Yeah, that, 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 that's what it looks like, really. Wow, it's a really impressive margin from Sam Bird as they flash through the left-hander and down towards the hairpin once more. And there's Nelson Piquet Jr. in a big moment of sideways action. Just about keeps it together. Montani's in the wars again. His front wing's gone. Bruno Senna says, what was that? So uh, Sam Bird continues to lead the way. Five and a half seconds clear up at the front. He's absolutely flying, Sam Bird. Really impressive performance from the Virgin car. And Senna is deploying his fan boost now then. And he is running in sixth place just behind Nelson Piquet Jr. And you can see the fan boost in action as Senna pulls alongside down towards turn number one. Montani is coming out on the inside line. A front right lockup from Senna. Can't quite uh, get the job done. Yeah, just I think, oh, what about safety? He's hit the wall. He's hit the wall, yep. You can see the uh. steering immediately changes. Bruno Senna having to turn to the right. So that fan boost, unfortunately, guys, worked out uh, badly for him because it's pushed him into the wall. I wonder if that was the extra torque, just of the, the, you know, the extra power of that car is fairly badly damaged there and that that'll be uh, yeah he's going to be in trouble isn't he yeah so sam bird continues to lap 1.4 seconds quicker than the rest of the pack how <laughs> i mean he's carrying obviously he's carrying good momentum he's he got the car set up well he's driving it well but the last lap before that he was two and a half seconds quicker <laughs> i don't know if he's found a shortcut yeah Maybe he's going straight on at turn one or something, but there he is, and there's the rest of the pack. We haven't seen this sort of domination. It's absolutely incredible as Jano Trulli comes across the line, now seven seconds behind Sam Bird, and Trulli, you can see, is uh, using a lot of energy. He's got only 28% of remaining uh, energy available, but because of these two safety cars, they will be able to go longer into the race in these in these cars running on these batteries. Yes, yeah, certainly now with no warm-up lap, certainly more than 50% uh, with through the race. And there's Matty Brabham and Bruno Senna, who have come together by the looks of things, or well, they've certainly both gone off at the same corner. And Matty Brabham, we just saw him recovering from an incident, so Senna stayed out, but that's not really going to help him at all. So it's only Sam Bird that has stayed out longer, and he's still going. It's such an impressive performance. Can't say enough about what he's doing yet. Sebastian Buemi's in the pits. There's Lucas de Grassi changing over as well. So we're getting very busy now in the pit lane. Daniel Apt is now in potentially in second position, but will he be able to make his engine last for the remainder of the race? Sebastian Buemi's going past his teammate Nico Prost. Bit of mistake going down there into from turn Prost. three. Yeah, locked up the fronts. Yep, so Buemi goes through, and there is Sam Bird then in the pits, and he's only going to have to do 13 laps on this uh, with this car and he's already done 18 so he should be able to turn it up a bit as yeah, well precisely here comes sam bird out of the pits and in theory back into the lead of the race daniel apt is still out there but he's only got 50 percent of his usable power remaining we go on board then with sebastian buemi lucas de Grassi's just set the fastest first sector of anyone in uh, what is a net third position and yano truly has been given a drive-through penalty for uh, an energy infringement. It won't tell us exactly what, but Jano Trulli, who's currently at the head of this train, has been handed a drive-through penalty, so that means Lucas de Grassi will be moving through past Trulli and up into second place, but will he know that? And also, can he afford to not pass Jano Trulli because he's got Nelson Piquet Jr. right up behind him as they come across the line? Yeah, Piquet got a cracking, cracking run out of uh, the last corner. 
And here's the look from Nelson Piquet Jr. down into turn one. And Piquet Jr. goes through. Good move from Nelson Piquet. Textbook. And he is passed. Yano Trulli flicking through the left-hander of turn nine. Down into the hairpin. Nelson Piquet Jr. all of a sudden is looking very, very fast. This is the view from the rear of Lucas de Grassi's car. Sandbird, 8.7 seconds up the road here. Yeah, really impressive. And he's lapping five seconds quicker than Daniel Lapp. So there's the uh, telemetry wheel we can see. 74% remaining from Lucas de Grassi. As he comes across the line, he's uh, not quite using the full 150 kilowatts. Moves towards the inside line. How close is he to Nelson Piquet Jr. in front of him? Oh, very close, and that's Piquet Jr. off. Collides with Jano Trulli on the way down towards the first corner. And that allows Lucas de Grassi to come through. Nelson Piquet Jr. might be out of the race. He's slowing. Front tyres are towed in there. He's broken the front track rod. So, so drama down at the first corner, Nelson Piquet Jr. in trouble and looking like he's out of the race. And here's a look at the replay, so truly moved across on Piquet ah, and... That's not on, is it? No. I don't know if he, he knew he was there or what, but that, that's... That, Piquet's race is ruined because of the inattention. You can't go to the inside and then drive back to the outside. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, Jano Trulli has come into the pits then to serve his drive-through penalty. Jano Trulli in the pits at the moment, so this is the battle at the moment over third position, but what will surely become a net second position. Buemi oh, almost got him on the cutback there. Meanwhile, D'Ambrosio, I think, is still ahead of Bruno Senna. So there's Aptar, race leader, just flashing through shot. Then there is Sam Bird, lapping three seconds a lap quicker than the German in front of him. Ten and a half second lead on Degrassi there, so he's probably at this point just thinking, OK, just back it off just a little bit no need to, to, to set the world in light but he's still got to do enough to catch and pass Daniel Apt as they come as he comes up towards the final corner you can see how quickly Bird is closing in because Apt is having to run at a lower pace to try and eke this car out now Senna's getting past uh, D'Ambrosio into turn one Senna finds the inside line and moves up into a uh, net sixth position just to give you a recap Daniel Apt is leading this race with six laps to go for the Apt team but in second place is Sam Bird, four seconds behind and lapping four seconds a lap quicker. So it won't be very long before uh, Sam Bird is right up and past Daniel Apt. But Apt had to pit early, decided to come in and uh, switch over under the safety car conditions. So he didn't lose too much track time and gain track position. And it looks like it could possibly be a reasonable shout. He was at the back of the field anyway, but Sam Bird is certainly going to pass him before too long. And there you can see Apt has got 20% battery uh, or, or available power remaining. So he is really having to cruise. He's doing a really good job of managing it, though. And uh, Daniel Apt waves Sam Bird past. So now Sam Bird... Oh, goodness me. That was a little uh, tighter than I thought it was going to be. But Sam Bird now moves into the lead of the race. And Delight in the Virgin Garage. And he now has, essentially, a 10-second lead over his nearest challengers. And all these guys are now closing in. Is De Grassi going to pass Apt and Apt has acted as a bit of a rear gunner for his Apt teammate? Oh, big lock up from De Grassi, gets it stopped. Meanwhile, um, Sebastian Buemi doesn't. He has to straight line the chicane, so these guys pushing so hard. Daniel Apt will surely move out of the way for his teammate without uh, much argument. There he goes, and oh, and Daniel Apt doing a good job actually getting out of the way of the chasing pack. I'm not sure Buemi gave him any option whatsoever <laughs> there. I think honestly that was a very forceful, quite rightly so, move from Buemi. Looks like Prost got held up behind him though. Yeah, Prost has lost a bit of time and will now look to the inside coming into the final corner. There's only a certain oh. amount of defending he can do. Did him get airborne on that bump there? Yeah, Nico Prost pushing super hard. So that means that he has now dropped and Senna uses his fan boost. So this is a chance for Bruno Senna to get past Nico Prost. Gets the extra power from the fan boost and gets up alongside down into turn one. And Bruno Senna goes through and that is fourth position now for Senna. We've been waiting all day to see Senna pass Prost, haven't we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been waiting my whole career. <laughs> <laughs> and so Senna is up into fourth position. They come across the line to start the final lap of the race. It's nose to tail for second position. Sam Bird is out in the lead of this one and looking comfortable. But on the final lap, it's Degrassi second, it's Buemi third, and it's Bruno Senna fourth. Down into the hairpin of turn 10. Really taking it steady now, Sam Bird, as he gets the car locked in. And oh, and Senna's off and in the wall. On the final lap of the race, Bruno Senna loses it. That means uh, Nico Prost will go through and up into fourth place. Senna was really pushing hard, 
but no matter how hard anyone pushed, they couldn't stop Sam Bird, who exits the final corner and wins in Putrajaya, the second round of the FIA Formula E Championship. It's victory for Sam Bird and Virgin. Delight on the pit wall for the team. Second place for Lucas de Grassi. It's third for Sebastian Boemi. Absolutely elated with that as he takes victory in Putrajaya. Sam Bird, congratulations. You were absolutely unstoppable. Yeah, it was mega, you know. Um, the guys did an amazing job this weekend. We've really turned it around from pre-season and I've got to say thanks to, to these guys here for giving me what was an unstoppable car today. The first stint we did the damage and second car, I just got it round really. There was no real need to push and just conserve the energy and, uh, you know, other people were pushing at the end, getting closer, but we had it, we had it well under control. And you use both of, both of those safety cars really to your advantage. Yeah, absolutely. You know, overtaking in one and getting a great gap in the other, catching everybody sleeping. So very happy with today. Obviously, Lucas did an amazing job as well coming from the back. So did Sebastian. I mean, I don't know how you got there, but mega. <laughs> That is very impressive, Lucas, all the way from the back of the grid up to second. Yeah, it was an amazing race. I did a much better race than Beijing. The car performed really well. I had very, had a lot of fights from the beginning of the race to the very end. And uh, to finish second is uh, something unbelievable. I'm happier than I am in Beijing. And uh, coming out as a championship leader also is, uh, is a great feeling. And he is the winner of the second ever FIA Formula E race here in Putrajaya. And now the Prime Minister has gone, they've checked, and it's time for the champagne. Alex Tai getting a soaking. But a wonderful race here in Malaysia. And what an entertaining race that turned into. Sam Bird then wins the race, 4.1 seconds clear of Lucas Degrassi in the end, but that doesn't really tell the story of domination that it was for the Virgin driver today. Degrassi finishing second, Sebastian Buemi and Nico Prost finishing in third and fourth for the Edam's Renault team. Jerome D'Ambrosio had a good run to fifth place for Dragon. He started 20th on the grid, so it really was a race of comebacks. Karun Chandok finished sixth, Polman Oriol Servia could only manage seventh at the end. Antonio Felix da Costa in 8th, Al Gashwari in apt, completing the top 10. Hope in Tongue had a spin or two, he finished down in 11th place. Stefan Sarazan was a little bit anom anom anonymous in that race. Easy and, for you uh, to he, say. Exactly, and he finishes down in 12th uh, position. And then the men who had dramas, Mackie Brabham, Bruno Senna, crashing out on the final lap, Montani, Leg, Trulli, Piquet Jr., Heidfeld and Churuti, the non-classified runners. So here's a look at the Drivers' Championship at the end of round two in the Putrajaya e Prix. Lucas de Grassi on the top. Three points clear of Frank Montani. Very close at the top, but Frank Montani and Jerome D'Ambrosio and Karun Chandok all tied on 18 points in joint third position. And uh, then we've got uh, Buemi, Prost and Servia all tied on 15 points as well. So it is mightily close up at the top of the championship. But crucially, it's Lucas de Grassi leading. 14 drivers have scored points in the opening two races. Antonio Felix da Costa picking up uh, two points more in his one appearance for Amin Aguri than Takuma Sato managed. So that's good news for da Costa. Jaime Aguishwari 11th. It's been a fantastic race here in Malaysia. It's been very, very entertaining. Make sure you join us for the next race. The 13th of December, about a month from now, we will be in Punta del Este in Uruguay. From Nicky Shields down in the pits, Dario Franchitti and myself, Jack Nichols, thank you for joining us and we'll see you in Uruguay. When the lightning strikes, let's stand together. When the moment comes, let's stand as one.